Hey everyone, Stephanie here. Welcome back to the third episode of my adventures with the single player campaign of Midgard. So last episode, we followed Percy deeper into the city where she became friends with a savage wolfling. And then in a different part of the city, we got introduced to a motorbike gang called the Valkyries led by Ingrid. We learned that one of them had been mysteriously murdered, so Ingrid is going to find out who killed their sister. And in terms of gameplay, we have learned about two factions so far, and it seems like Red playstyle tends to be pretty aggressive and fast, so like Percy had access to ignition cards and all sorts of cards that enable a sort of a fast playstyle, whereas Blue has more of a snowballing effect with lots of support options. So I'm looking forward to learning more about the Blue faction as well. And today we are going to enter this chapter. Athens, the Vampire Court, where Ixion the Betrayer rules with bloody hands. <laughs> First vampire Percy met. Bring me oh. the Valkyrie. <sighs> she approaches already, Lord Ixion. Even now, she bludgeons her way to your doorstep. Negotiations. You learned something about the storm today. You learned that one way or another, I get what I'm owed. You learned that when a rider dies, the storm breaks you. Hmm. What is going on though? Did the vampires kill the Valkyrie or not? Alright, Ingrid versus Strigoi Noble. <clears throat> so the Strigoi is the name of um, the vampire faction. But yeah, the first vampire that Percy met was hungry for her blood. If you remember that. Okay, so they played, they burned ankle biter and play Strigoi Pup. And this is my first time playing blue against the vampires. With red, you just burn them down quickly, but let's see. We do have lots of healing options and um, okay, we have two of this, so I'm going to burn one of it. And I should play a grease monkey. I'm going to play it out of range of the pup so that I can get the value out of this because it can heal my other minions. Alright, so the Strigoi Noble got two health from me. They played, they burned a Strigoi Familiar and played a Strigoi Pup. Okay, um, this seems pretty useful, so I'm gonna hold on to that. Next turn, I wanna play a 3 mana minion, I think, so I'll burn one of these. And I'll play a uh, Valkyrie Tough. Let me just check. This has 3 attack and 3 health, so if we 
put it here, only one of the pups only one of the pups will attack it. And we might as well just get the damage value out of this. So I'm expecting one of the pups to attack my Valkyrie Tough. Yep, and there we go. So we can heal this and then... Okay, so this is Ankle Biter gets uh, plus two damage when doing damage to a player, but I have minions blocking the way, so... Um, and we're going to use this to block that Strigoi pup. Um, and then I should probably... hold on. Give a minion plus two plus two. That actually looks good. If I combine that with the Grease Monkey. Another option is just to play another Valkyrie Tough. Or Storm Dotir's Chosen. Gets plus one plus one when one of your other Valkyrie minions dies. Then, when attacking a minion, excess damage carries over to the defending player. This seems pretty strong, so I'm going to burn the Valkyrie Tough and play that. Oh, I already burned a card. Wait, am I not allowed to burn more of the same card? Oh, interesting. Okay. Um, anyway, I'm gonna move... Oh, that's right, I already used the healing action. Well, we'll play this then, because this... See you in Valhalla! Yeah, this also counts as a Valkyrie, so the Storm Dothius Chosen will get bonus stats if they kill another one of my Valkyries. By the way, Valkyries are a mythological reference, and Valhalla is like the place they go to after they die. Okay, so that pup attacked my Valkyrie top, which is what I wanted. I'm pretty sure players won't play like this. I'm pretty much just taking advantage of AI behavior. So, Strigoi Noble passed Blood Moon and your minions have life tap and whenever they die, they draw a card. Interesting. Okay, so I should just heal that Valkyrie top again. Um, and keep attacking, and I can restore health and draw a card, or all your other Valkyrie minions have plus one and plus one. Actually, that seems strong. I should probably have done that first. Or I could play Valkyrie Enforcer. Mm. Yeah, you know what? I want to play Valkyrie Enforcer. So we'll just return that to the owner's Hit hand. The road. <laughs> Hit the road. Uh, yeah. So apparently you can't move and attack in the same turn. But now I have a lot of board presence. Lie still. <laughs> that was a funny voice. Duskwing Angel. Agile. Can attack any of the three opposing lanes, ignoring restrictions. And it also has life tap. Wow, and it also has a pretty big pile of stats. Um, hold on, so all your other Valkyrie minions have plus one and plus one. Let's do that. Born to ride. <laughs> Born to ride. Yeah, Valkyrie is a very, um, teamwork oriented class. So this one gains plus one when one of your Valkyrie mains dies, so we'll do that. Now it has 
as we will attack. And we'll just keep attacking. Uh, wait, hold on. I still... Did I already burn a card? No, I didn't. So I have room to play another Valkyrie top, actually. Let's do this. <laughs> and we'll keep attacking. So that's good to know. As long as this is on the board, all the other Valkyrie minions have plus one and plus nice. one. <laughs> okay, so we need nine damage, which we definitely have on board. Uh, hold on. Um. Let me just bounce this. Hit the road. <clears throat> and finish with this. Alright. One of mine is dead. Left beaten in a parking lot. Oh dear. Such sorrow. <laughs> The Demon King wants the God's blood that you owe, and then he wants more. Tell your Junkie King that he gets more when I have more to sell. And pay me for the loss of my rider, plus the blood she was carrying. You hmm. deny my King? I want my money. Dang. So it looks like the Valkyries are suppliers of God's blood. And the vampires are their biggest client, but then how did that rider die, I wonder? <clears throat> and you. <laughs> wow, it- Ingrid is saying, I'll take it out of your hide if I have to. Okay, so we get to go first. Um, we can- Burn something and play a Freggy Scout. So let's burn one of the Valkyrie Tufts, I think. And we'll play this. I'll ride ahead. Yeah, she gets to move twice each turn. If we can buff her up, that would make her a lot stronger. Okay, so Enyo played a Strigoi Pup, and we can get rid of that with Ice Spike. Um, I kind of want to save the God's Blood Transfusion for my minion. So let's burn one of the Ice Spikes, I think. Um, kill that. And then just attack twice with this. Oh. Wait. Can move? I see. So she can move but she can't attack twice. Well, let's put her in the center then. We can... I'm gonna burn this extra freaky scout. Uh, give this God's Blood transfusion. Um, and then move over to start contesting the pup. I hope that's right. Okay, so Enyu gets two health back. Uh, 
Grim Narcoleptic Lurker Must attack other blocking minions before a lurker Okay, well... We can just kill it with a Ricky Scout um, and contest the pop and then uh, oh we can actually bounce the pop is that better or yeah I think I actually prefer to play another minion see you in Valhalla Goy Reaver. What's Alpha Strike? Deals combat damage before minions can attack twice per turn. So frenzies can attack twice per turn. Um, okay, we can give all the Valkyrie minions. Hold on, I need to burn something. I'm going to burn this and give all my other minions plus one and plus one. Born to ride. <laughs> Born to ride. Kill this. And then do this. Um, yeah, looks good. We should be able to win next turn unless and you'll place a lot of blockers. Kill them. <laughs> Kill them. <laughs> uh, Murder's Muse, deadly, gets plus one plus one when another minion dies. Destroys minions when dealing any amount of combat damage to them. Cool. Uh, but Enyo, you are just dead. I regret to inform you. So can you... <laughs> Tell us what happened to our writer. <laughs> That's enough flirting, let's chat. <clears throat> Slay me if you must, daughter of storms. But none here killed your writer. Huh. How do you know? No one loyal would block the blood trade. Hmm. Every gang has a doubter. Who's yours? This amalgamation buys my life. Let's find out. Wow, the story deepens. So in this episode, we learned that the Valkyries were actually supplying God's blood to the vampires. And the king of the vampires just wants more God's blood, but there is a conflict between the Valkyries and the Vampires because the Valkyries claim that the Vampires owe them more money and the Vampires are driven by their king's desperate lust for blood. And we have yet to find out who killed the Valkyrie Rider, but Ingrid is now in the midst of talks with a vampire named Enyo. In the meantime, I have my suspicions that Percy will re-enter the story pretty soon because if you remember in the first episode, the first creature that she encountered in the city was a vampire who was hungry for her blood, and she is a godling. So we'll see how she plays into this later. Thank you for watching, leave a like if you enjoyed this episode, and I will see you in the next video.